That's easy as Z times S. That's input. What about output? The same. The same? What about here? If you say EX, do we need to put location here? Yes? To avoid confusion, I would say I would write down minus DQ here. Where Q or DQ, the whole thing here, can be calculated based on H and circumference. If the circumference of this picture, this line, is L, okay, L delta Z, right? L delta Z would be the area highlighted in blue, okay? Or if you say, if the length here is B, this is B as well, then you have 6B delta Z. That's the area for heat transfer due to Newton law cooling. And then delta T, which would be T minus T0. T would be changed with respect to position according at along Z direction. T0 would be constant, right? Is there any production? Is there any work? No work, no production. Okay? If you divide everything by delta Z, this one divided by delta Z, delta Z here will be dropped, right? You take the limit, you have DEZ by DZ, minus here, minus H over S, 6B, T minus T0, equal to 0. Okay? And then, EZ here would be simply conduction. Conduction, the energy flux due to conduction is K dt by dz. Integration is straightforward. All right? So now we have second order differential equation. If you integrate it, you will need two boundary conditions. What are they? As z equal to zero, t is t1, that's one. That's the first one. What about the second one? At t equal to length L here, suppose the length would be L. At t equal to L, what do you have? You can have either dt by dz equal to zero. That you assume that temperature profile would change until there is no change up here, right? If you plot temperature profile according to the length, up here is t1. The temperature will be decreased, right? If you assume that 
at length L, if the length L here is very, very long, then the slope here is supposed to be zero. In that case, you can take dt by dz at z equal to L to be zero. Or if you think the length L is short, you can also say that at this particular point, at c equal to l, t is equal to t0. All right? Is this hard? You see something like this in your examination this time. I promise. All right, so as for the examination, you have three problems, shell balance, equation, and then the other problem that asks you some simple question. Yeah, simple question. The question that asks about concept, conceptual problems. It may be true or false problem kind of, or explain something, okay? Three kind of problems. Two of them would be calculation. The other one would be non-calculation. Again, examination will be closed book exam. Nothing will be allowed. No calculation, nothing. Just you. All right, any other? Yes? What will be given in the examination? All the appendix, just like last time. Appendix regarding momentum balance, equation of, moment, equation of motion, equation of continuity, equation of energy will be given. The Newton law for all three coordinates will be given. Fourier law for all three coordinate will be given. Okay? What else? What else do you need? The formula for Nusselt number will not be given. Just like in Reynolds number, you should know it by heart. Not this one. Nusselt number equal to SD over something. K. SD over K. Newton law cooling will not be given. What else? What else you like to know? So the calculation based on chapter 14 will not be, I mean, there will be no problem asking you to make calculation according to chapter 14. Let's say that. But there will be problems that ask you about concept in chapter 14. Calculation will be based on chapter 10, 11, and 9. 9, 10, 11. All right. If there is no other question, that's it for today. Next week, we will have sport event. So we will have no class. After that, we will start mass transport. All right. See you later.